Have you ever thought about how languages just vanish? It's kind of sad, right? Like, it's not just words disappearing, but a whole way of life, you know? But today, we get to explore the more optimistic side of things, uh, the world of bringing these languages back to life. Language revitalization. Exactly. And for this deep dive, we're heading over to northern Italy. To the Lombardy region. Right. To explore a website uh, dedicated to promoting and preserving the Lombard language, Lingua Lombarda. It's crazy to think that a language spoken by millions could be in danger of disappearing. But Lombard, just like a lot of regional languages, faces some tough challenges in a world that's, well, becoming more and more dominated by just a few major languages. And you land on their website, and right away you can feel the passion. It says, uh, Nun prentom la lengua Lombarda. We who use the Lombard language. Yeah. It's like they're saying, come on in. This is our language. Experience it with us. They even have a line further down. Un sit. Per imparar un pu de lengua lombarda. Which means... A site to learn a little Lombard language. See, so welcoming. And what's so cool is how they're mixing tradition with technology. Yeah, they've got the classic stuff, lessons, songs, videos, dictionaries, even a whole grammar guide called Scriver Lombard, which I guess means... Rewriting Lombard. Right. Yeah. So you can really dive in if you want to. But then check this out. They have this section called uh, Wikitoki where they're translating Wikipedia articles into Lombard. Talk about bringing a language into the digital age. It's not just about having it online. It's about showing that it's relevant to the world today. Imagine like reading about current events or science in Lombard. Mm -hmm. Just makes the language feel so alive. Absolutely. And there's more. They showcase Lombard culture in all sorts of interesting ways. Like they have this video about La Gironde. A legendary lake that doesn't exist anymore. Wait, what? A lake that vanished. What happened? That's part of the mystery they explore. It highlights how language revitalization is about more than just words. It's about preserving the stories and the history that make a culture unique. It's like solving a puzzle from the past. In a way, it is. And they even delve into literature, like with their translation of this 16th century poem, La Vittoria dei Romaninges, into Lombard. Bringing these old treasures back to life for people today it's amazing how powerful language is for connecting us to the past. And speaking of treasures, I found a whole section of Lombard songs. They had titles like um, Lomarel, Aqua de Mar, so in this one, Pan Butter EC. It's pretty catchy. Music is such an effective tool for language learning. Yeah. It's like you remember song lyrics without even trying, even if you don't totally get what they mean at first. It's true. Songs often use expressions and subtle nuances that you might not encounter in a traditional learning environment. It's like learning without realizing you're learning. Precisely. And the creators of this website, they really get that. It's clear they understand that making language learning fun and part of everyday life is key. And get this, they even have, get this, an online corrector for Lombard. Oh, wow. I know. So, like, you can type something out and it'll tell you if you've got it right. That immediate feedback can be so helpful, especially when you're just starting out. It's like having a little language tutor on hand 24-7. Mm -hmm. And it really shows how dedicated they are to involving younger learners, too. They really seem to have considered every angle. Yeah, they've got a whole section for kids with stories, games. Uh, there's even a lunar calendar, all in Lombard. Getting kids immersed in the language at a young age is so crucial for its survival. It's like planting those seeds for the future. And speaking of which, their Scriver Lombard section, the one on written Lombard, that feels like another big step towards ensuring the language's future. Absolutely. It's one thing to be able to speak a language, but being able to read and write it, well, that adds a whole new dimension to preservation. Right. It allows for the creation of a written record of a language, capturing all of its intricacies and how it evolves over time. It's like they're creating a linguistic time capsule. Exactly. Making sure that Lombard has a voice for generations to come. And they're doing it by blending those traditional methods with modern technology. And it's more than just technology, isn't it? They've really tapped into that sense of community around the language. It's palpable. Like with their Sichurata yep. section. Did I say that right? Sichurata, yes. It means chat in Lombard. Sichurata, how cool is that? Very cool. It's a space for people to connect with each other, share stories, you know, just chat all in Lombard. It's like they say, right. 
Uh, un site per imparar un peu de lengua lombarda. Yes, a site to learn a little Lombard language. Yeah. But as we've seen, it's so much more than just a little. It's a whole movement. It really is. And it just goes to show you, with enough passion and dedication, even a language facing an uphill battle can have a fighting chance. Absolutely. This website is a testament to that. They haven't just preserved a language. They've revitalized it. They've made it relevant for a new generation. It's inspiring, really. Yeah. It reminds you that language and culture, they're inseparable. Deeply intertwined. And even in our globalized world, there's still a place for these unique expressions of who we are to not just exist, but to thrive. To thrive, exactly. Yeah. It's been fascinating getting this glimpse into the world of Lingo Lombarda. It makes you wonder what other hidden linguistic gems are out there just waiting to be rediscovered. And what will you choose to revitalize? Spectacular, it's a